Hello, IMS community of students and families. Principal Reckling here. This opportunity this evening that we have to be together is to participate in our digital promotion ceremony. We are excited to have this time to celebrate with your students for all of their hard work, their effort, um, and their engagement in unique situations as we had this first year of 2021 that was completely either remote with a little bit concurrent at the end. But I just want to take a moment to congratulate you all for the hard work and the amazing things that you did this year, even in a very unpredictable um, and tough situation. We're proud of the work that you did and we're happy to be here to celebrate with you all tonight. As part of our promotion tonight, we will hear messages from some of your student leaders, some of your student friends that will share some speeches and musical performances this evening, as well as from some of your IMS staff to help celebrate you as you leave us at IMS and move on to greater things. We're excited to be with you this evening. Please stay tuned for an awesome presentation. Hello, fellow eighth grade graduates. Congratulations on graduating middle school. Our middle school experience has been quite interesting. Half of it was normal while the other half of it was in a pandemic. It was new and different. But despite all the changes and new normals, we got through it. Middle school is a time of transition between middle, elementary school and high school. It is also a time of change. All of us have changed in some way or discovered something new about ourselves. Some of us found new friends, let go of old ones, started to switch gender, academically challenge ourselves, found a new love for a certain subject or activity. None of us are walking out of eighth grade as the same person who walked into sixth grade three years ago. Of course, we had help, whether it was through awesome counselors, amazing teachers, supportive friends, loving family members, or adorable pets. Now as we look forward to high school, some of us are nervous, some of us are excited, and some of us are not even sure how we are feeling. This is because high school will hold more opportunities, more classes, more choice, but it will also be a time when we need to start thinking about our future. I have a feeling high school is going to be a roller coaster, but thanks to middle school at IMS, we are going to be as ready as we can be. Thank you. Hello my fellow 8th graders. If you don't already know me, my name is Courtney Finkbeiner. Walking through the front doors of IMS on the first day of sixth grade feels like it was just yesterday and a lifetime ago at the same time. My heart pounded as eighth graders towered over me. Can it be that we are those scary eighth graders now? The past three years were meant to prepare us for the new chapter in our lives, high school, and in so many ways it has. But unlike the past and future eighth graders at our school, we have faced a pandemic. What started as a few weeks off of school turned into a quarantine for months. Summer brought hope that life could get back to normal, but COVID had other plans, a new way of learning. Mute, unmute, canvas assignments, sweatpants, sleeping in, and fear of the unknown were a part of our new everyday life, which means we have overcome challenges that future eighth graders hopefully won't need to. These challenges were not easy to get through. From having bad Wi-Fi connections to loved ones testing positive, we have persevered through tough times. With countless real-life lessons from this experience under our belt, we will excel on this next step in our path to success. Enjoy this summer break. We deserve it. And good luck to my classmates. High school has so much in store for all of us. In the future, when I look back on my middle school years, most of what I will be remembering will not be specific memories, but how much we've grown as students and leaders. Because, we're, because when we remember our three years in middle school, we will also remember the year 2020 and its challenges. I will remember how we've gone from posting selfies on social media to sharing news and stories to help educate and support each other. As eighth graders, we are more aware of what is happening in our country than our younger peers. We have lived through challenges that our parents and teachers have never had to face in their middle school years. We've witnessed the COVID-19 pandemic, the 2020 presidential election, the Black Lives Matter movement, and more. We've been stuck at home for more than a year being pelted by news of more victims of COVID, hearing the voices of the oppressed, people of color, women, the LGBTQ plus community, and seeing the leaders of this country turn a blind eye to the needs of the US people. We've seen all of this, and with the help of our supportive teachers, community, and friends, survived. The world will little note, no longer remember what we said or did here at this school, but we shall make it so that it will never forget what we will say and what we will do here in this country and in this world. 
everyone will remember 2020. But as this country's future leaders, we are obligated not only to remember these past two years, but also to learn from them. The country has suffered for too long from injustice, racism, sexism, and more. In the past, people have kept it quiet and spoken about. But this generation, us future ninth graders, we will be the ones who change this country. We will be the ones who speak out against inequality and finally make this country indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hi, my name is Savit Pavar. I am an 8th grader here at IMS. In a couple of weeks, I will be finishing middle school and moving on to high school. My life in middle school was interesting, mostly because of COVID-19. For all of 8th grade and a bit of 7th grade, I have been doing school from home. It was harder to ask questions and it was harder to contact the teacher. But most of all, I could not see my friends every day like I used to in 6th grade. But even though I was home for a lot of middle school, I still learned a lot. All of my teachers were really helpful and they tried to help the best that they could. I hope middle school has prepared me for high school. I look forward to high school because I will have a lot more options to choose for classes. But mostly I can't wait to get back in person and meet my friends. So what I'm trying to say is that in middle school, middle school was fun and I can't wait to get to high school. This year was different. Well, it was a lot, borderline mess. But at the end of the day, we got through it and we graduated. And these past three years at IMS have been filled with nothing but good times. I can hope. And if it could all be summed up with one word, it would be change. Maybe you gained some lifelong friends, but let go of old. Maybe you found a love for something or someone. Or maybe you finally figured out how to use Zoom. The point is that middle school has brought us through thick and thin, pandemic or not. And no doubt high school will as well. But as of now, all we can say is, we did it. And thank goodness it's over. It's been a long journey. Walking through the double doors in the IMS on an early morning in September to now turning in the last of assignments for middle school, it was a challenge. We had tough assignments, humid classrooms in mid-June, and arguments with friends. But through it all, we made lasting memories. Even today, graduating eighth grade, sitting at home, we have spent the last three years preparing for high school to where we'll prepare for college or the working world. Reminiscing on my middle school experience, I will remember the good and the bad, learning from what made life that little bit better and learning from the mistakes I made. I'll remember my teachers, whether I appreciated them at the time or not, besides just teaching us MLA format, algebra and lab safety, you taught me and the rest of my grade 
how to be ourselves. You embraced our differences and encouraged positive mindsets to help us grow. When we move on to high school, we will think of the memories we made here and the lessons we learned. The school has done the utmost to push us towards success, not just here and not just in high school, but where we will go for the rest of our lives. For everything they have done for us and allowing us to grow and flourish as youth, I thank you. Hello, my name is Omar and I'll be playing a short piece for you. Good morning, IMS students and staff, and welcome to our last days of middle school. I'm Alexi Tan, and I was this year's ASB Vice President along with my co-star, Eugene Chang. Though Eugene is my best friend, she can still be a real pain, but I do thank her for putting up with me and my constant complaining and whining, and you name it, it's probably been, been talked about multiple times between us two. I mean, after all, she was the one to call me at 11 p.m. the night before ASB submissions were due, and she was practically begging me to be her co-star and run with her in the elections. I will never forget her panicked little voice screaming at me through the phone. I would also like to thank the ASB team who have made everything possible. You guys adapted so, so well considering that we're in a pandemic and that this year has been so different to compared to the last. And I am so, so glad from the bottom of my heart that I have gotten the opportunity to work with you guys. And I hope that we can work together for many more in the future. And of course, a special thank you to Mr. Cotton, who has taught me many lessons about life, leadership, and of course, directing me and Eugene to be the best IMS vice president and president we could be. I truly loved your class and I wish we could share another year together. But as it seems, this year is slowly coming to an end and I'm not ready to say goodbye yet. I know that school was hard this year. I mean, we are suffering through a plague, guys. It was hard for a lot of us, but you know what? Look at us now. Like, we can finally breathe a breath of relief as we make it into the next chapter of our lives and move on from our preteen awkwardness to being considered an adult and doing adulty things like taxes. I don't know. Um, to all my teachers, starting from sixth grade to this year, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have watched me grow and you've helped me along the way. I may be a talkative person in your class and may have been a pain to deal with, but just know that I appreciate you and everybody around me. You know, it's not every day that someone can say that they lived, like they lived through a global pandemic and that they went to school during it. But look at us, we've come out as new reformed people. And I believe that this year has made such an impact on all of us that we can become different people altogether. 
We have formed ourselves into who we wished and who we wanted to be when we were six, dreaming of popularity and boys and you name it. But overall, I am amazed with everybody's self growth and development as people. And remember, your mental health always comes first. And I would, I am always here for you. I, my DMs, my text messages, email me even. I, I will listen to you and I will help you the best I can. And I know taking care of yourself is hard sometimes. I know next year is going to be hard, but I am ready for the challenge. Remember class of 2025? Show Bruce your quality work. And no matter where life takes us, I am also proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2025. Hello, IMS. As you may know, my name is Eugen, and I was lucky enough to be given the opportunity to be your ASP president this year. Let me start off by saying this was definitely not the eighth year graduation any of us were expecting when we walked into the school building on the first day of sixth grade. Admittedly, the school year has been a unique and scary experience. We spent half of our middle school career online. For most of us, that looked like waking up five minutes before class logging into our Zoom meeting, and eating breakfast during second period. However, I feel as if this school year has shaped us in many unique ways. I mean, we survived a global pandemic. I remember the first day of middle school. My friends and I agreed to meet in a regular spot, and I was wearing low-rise Hollister jeans with the yellow t-shirt. To be honest, that did not seem like that long ago, but look at us now. We're in eighth grade and we're graduating. I'm not going to say that middle school was all happy and easy. Middle school was definitely not. Sometimes we got a bad grade on our tests, or sometimes our friends in us fought. But overall, IMS was such a hopeful and understanding place for us to grow and develop into our current selves. I want to take a moment to thank our teachers and staff, the people who made us who we are, the people who taught us what we know. Our teachers have sacrificed so much and worked so hard to make us the people we are today. Okay, sure, we did not always get a good grade on our assessments, but those also inspired us to work harder. I want to take a moment to thank our ASB. I was new to ASB this year, and honestly, I was kind of nervous, but being surrounded by such amazing people taught me what leadership truly was. Big thanks to Alexia for being my vice, huge thanks to the ASB for being the best team, and a bigger thanks to Mr. Cotton for helping power us to be the best ASB we can be. Another thanks to our parents, and a little bit of an apology too. I know we are difficult sometimes, but thank you for letting us continue on our paths and being the same amazing us. The last and final thanks is to us. I congratulate each and every single one of us for going and becoming who we are. We had our teachers, parents, and friends to thank, but mostly ourselves. We were the ones that grew, and we were the ones that made it through three years of middle school. I'm so, so proud of us. I look forward to many more years with you all. Have a great summer and see you next year. Congratulations on making it through a dumpster fire of a year. <laughs> you did it. I'm really proud of you. I'm not surprised, but I am proud and delighted for you. Good job. You're going to rock in high school. Hello, IMS eighth graders. Keep creativity in your life with music, singing, poetry, drama, tech, and of course, visual arts. And not only should you enjoy high school, but college will be much more fun. See you around, bye. Hello, eighth graders, it's Miss Stevens. I just wanted to say congratulations on getting through an incredibly difficult year. And I hope you can take this summer to enjoy being outside and being with your friends. Next year, as you enter into high school, remember to communicate with your teachers. They are people too, and they want to support you and help you in any way that they can. Have a great ninth grade year. Hey, eighth graders. Middle school has always been known to be a challenging time for adolescents, but you have had the most challenging middle school experience in the history of the world, and you did it. You did great, and we all just wish you the best summer ever, and good luck in high school and beyond. Take care. 
Yay, eighth graders, we're done. Times this year felt like it was never gonna happen. I'm gonna be trapped in these laptops for the rest of our lives. But here it is, it is all done. Congratulations. Um, good luck next year on being ninth graders. Congratulations, eighth graders. Congratulations on making it through three years of middle school. That's a great accomplishment. I wish you all the best as you move on to high school. Hi, Ms. Badafina here with Pingy and Pongo. We just wanted to say congratulations and good luck in your future endeavors. Hope to hope you come visit. Bye. Hi, eighth graders, Mrs. Ainsworth here. Uh, congratulations on making it through middle school. You did it. Uh, even this year with how challenging it was, you showed your hard work and your positive attitudes and just your sense of humor. And I'm gonna miss all of that as you make your way to the high school. I wish you nothing but the best. I hope you'll stay in touch, take care and have a great summer. Congratulations, eighth graders. What an accomplishment. I know you will go on to do great things past middle school. Best wishes to all of you. We, um, we've made it through this year and you've finished middle school. Here's to a fantastic summer and great high school experience. Hello, eighth graders. Wanted to wish you congratulations on making it through this year as challenging as it has been. You made it. Congratulations, and I wish you the best of luck for next year. Bye. Congratulations, class of 2025, on your graduation from IMS. You are such a fabulous group. You made this year, this crazy year, so much better. I'm excited for everything that's to come for you, and good luck next year in high school. Don't forget to work hard and have a really great summer. Hello, eighth graders. Uh, you are an absolutely wonderful group to have in class. I will always feel cheated that we missed our final two months of the school year together last year. I want to wish you all the best of luck. You will be very successful in all your endeavors. Uh, thanks especially to the green team members in your class who joined us last year and helped us out so much on many of our projects. Good luck. Come back and see us. Have a great future. For the rest of your life, you'll get to say you finished middle school during a global pandemic and you were wearing your pajamas for a lot of that time. So best of luck next year. You'll be missed and uh, we wish you all the best at high school. Congratulations, eighth graders. I'm so proud of you and all the hard work you put into this year. I know it's been a tough year, but you did it. You survived middle school. Yay. Congratulations. Hi, eighth graders. This is Miss Lee and one of my cats, and we want to wish you congratulations and thank you for all your contributions to IMS. We wish you all the best. Thanks. Congratulations, IMS eighth graders. I can tell you right now, high school's a blast. Go have fun and have a great summer, everyone. Congratulations, eighth graders. You did it. You made it. Have a great time in high school. Hey, eighth graders, Mrs. Malik here. Just wanting to wish you the best as you move on from IMS to the high school. Um, it's been a crazy year, but you guys have risen to the occasion and have really performed beyond our expectations. Um, it's been so great for those of you that have stopped by and poked your head in to say hi. And I just wish you all the best. Congratulations. Hi, eighth graders. Congratulations on making it through a crazy year. Best wishes for an amazing high school experience. Hey, eighth graders. Um, haven't seen much of you all this year, but I got to see um, a lot of you last year for at least two thirds of the year. But anyway, I just want to say um, good job making it through middle school and want to wish you all the best of luck in the future and with all that you do. Hi, eighth graders, it's Mrs. Stipe here. I am just so proud of the grit and resilience you have shown this year, and now you're off to bigger and better things, high school. 
I uh, wish you all the best. Know that us IMS teachers will be thinking about you. Stay in touch. Bye. Hey, eighth graders, it's Mrs. Kramer. I think I saw a lot of you last year in PE. I'm now working in the building, but mostly with sixth and seventh graders. Congratulations on making it through this crazy, crazy year and uh, have a great time in high school next year. And uh, more importantly, have a wonderful summer.
IMS community of students and families, thank you again for joining us today as we celebrate our eighth grade students. We wish you all the absolute best of luck as you move forward onto other adventures as you move on to high school. We appreciate so much this time that we had together, even though it was such a unique year, we've learned and grown together and we appreciate everything that we have learned from you and everything that you have taught us as we have also gone through these amazing experiences this year that have been a little bit of a challenge. So congratulations on making it through a tough year. Thank you for all that you have done. For those of you that participated in National Junior Honor Society, please stay tuned next for a link to a presentation that was created by that group of students so that you can celebrate your work that was done as part of National Junior Honor Society. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great, wonderful day.